Hello and welcome to a review video. Well, it finally happened. After years and years of trusty service, my old blood for the blood gut pot is finally empty. But boy, did we had a good run. Now I'm going all over the model to add blood for the blood gut. And paint blood for the blood gut on the organs. Add blood for the blood gut on both the chain axe. Thin down blood for the blood gut, 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 blood for the blood gut. Well, I did what everybody would do in this circumstance. I went out and got another blood for the blood gut paint because it's such a perfect blood effect. But to my dismay, the new blood for the blood gut uh, was a bit weird. Like the color was more burgundy, it didn't have the same consistency as the old one. So I thought, let's compare the new Blood for the Blood God with some other blood effect paints. I have here a blood effect paint from Vallejo, Green Stuff World and Army Painter. I'll be doing some small tests and I will grade the paints between 1 and 5 and see which paint is the bloodiest of the bloodies. First, let's have a look what the paints look like on a wet palette. First off, we have Citadel's Blood for the Blood God, which looks way too burgundy for me instead of red. Also, I'm missing that glossy look the old paint had. Second is Vallejo, and damn, look how orange it is. Hopefully it will look better on the model. A spoiler, it really doesn't. Green Stuff World's True Blood looks very magenta, so I was beginning to worry a bit here that none of these paints were up to snuff. Last but hopefully not least is Army Painter with Glistening Blood. Kind of a funny name, but whoa, look how pink that is. Okay then. Let's apply the blood with no brush, as I usually do. Citadel Blood for the Blood God applies fine, it seems. It reads like blood, so I'm giving it a 4 out of 5. It looks good, but not as good as the old paint. Vallejo's Fresh Blood looks like tomato soup. It's very opaque and way too orange for my liking. 2 out of 5. Green Stuff World's True Blood also looks like blood at least, but it's very watery. Yeah, it's a 3 out of 5. The Army Painter's Glistening Blood is um, very opaque and pink. I don't know what to do with this. Uh, 1 out of 5. I always water down my blood paint so it can act as a gross looking filter. Well, let's see how these four paints do it here. Blood for the Blood God does a job well. This is a 4 out of 5. Fresh blood still looks like runny tomato soup. Way too orange to read as gory blood. 1 out of 5. True Blood from GSW looks very magenta watered down. The paint is already very runny in the first place. I'm giving this a 2 out of 5. Glistening Blood watered down is not much better. I have to give this a 1 out of 5 because this it just looks like pink paint really. It's very neon, though I'm sure it has other uses. To create random patterns, I also like to apply blood with some foam to get a cool splatter effect. Citadel again looks like blood, but damn, I don't like the burgundy color this one has at all. Eh, 3 out of 5. Vallejo is a watery mess, and the bright orange really hurts my eyes. 1 out of 5. Green Stuff World's blood is already very runny, so it doesn't work very well with a piece of foam. As well as you're seeing the magenta tones very well, and it doesn't look like blood at all. 2 out of 5. The Arbor Painter at least goes well with a piece of foam, but the bright neon pink is not selling me on the grossness of the gore here. 1 out of 5. So what does the overall effect look on bright skin? Well, Blood for the Blood Gut does look like gory blood at least, so I'm giving this a 4 out of 5. Fresh Blood is still tomato soup. Uh, 2 out of 5. True Blood does look like blood, but not as good as Citadel's, so 3 out of 5. Glistening Blood is a neon nightmare, so 1 out of 5. Blood goes everywhere, so it can also go on dark objects. Let's see how the paints act here. 
Blood for the Blood God really shows its burgundy magenta colors on dark objects. I'm also missing a glossy finish, so this is a 2 out of 5. Fresh Blood does look a bit better on dark objects. The orange at least is a little bit more subdued here, so 3 out of 5. True Blood really is a runny magenta mess most of the time, so 1 out of 5. Glistening Blood at least shows well on dark objects, but yeah, it's not blood, right? 1 out of 5. So counting down, we have Citadel's Blood for the Blood Gun on number 1 with 17 points, we've got Green Stuff World on number 2 with 11 points, and we got Vallejo on the third spot with 9 points, and Army Painter with uh, last with 5 points. Overall, I went from a perfect blood effect paint to 4 mediocre ones, which doesn't seem like a very great trade-off, so... Ah. In my Corn Berserkers video, I was using a mixture of Flesh Terrors Red, Cygor Brown and Contrast Medium. This gives a nice, rich, dark-looking blood, and you can control how dark the blood gets by adding more or less Cygor Brown. Then you can finish it with a glossy varnish to make it nice and shiny. Well, this was a fun little test to do, and I even got to paint a couple of Plague Bearers just for this video, which is always fun. I'm of course very curious what you think of blood effect paints and if I maybe missed a really good one, definitely let me know in the comments. I really tried to give, give all the paints a fair chance, but putting them together really shows some faults in some of them, so. Well, now I finally know a little bit more what to do with blood, I can finish my Carn of Betrayer video, which is coming soon. But in the meantime, be sure to check out my Instagram where I post photos of current projects and behind the scenes stuff. But for now, Thanks for watching.